uh, project that the Anglican Board of Mission supports is the Garrowa School, which is uh, a school within St Andrew's Cathedral College in the centre of Sydney, uh, right in the CBD at Town Hall. Right at the earlier stages, when we were contemplating this, we took some of the parents through St Andrews, because that was my uh, litmus test, I guess. And uh, one of the parents, as we was walking through, and saw all of this incredible school in the middle of the city here, and all of its uh, resources, and how well it was uh, helping the students. As we was walking up the, uh, uh, one of the alleyways there, I said to, said to the brother, I said, brother, what do you think about this school, about sending your child here to this school? And his response was, Ray, this place makes me want to go back to school. He says, I've only been to grade, uh, I think, three or four. And so he didn't have the opportunities. And that, to me, opened up my mind to say, OK, first and foremost, here at St Andrews, in this particular school, there's already a culture of learning. So if you come into this place and you want to learn, the culture's already here. So the opportunities I see are not just academic, which is one of our main focuses, but they're opportunities for um, music and drama and art, I think just helps to add to the whole person, which really ties in with Indigenous culture, which is very much about educating the whole child. Well, I'd love to be a musician, but other than that, I'd also like to play water polo outside of school, because I play in school now and I have so much fun. It's such a good sport. Um, and we, we love coming here. Yeah, we, you know, amazing people, teachers are lovely and... There's that connection um, where they want to help you and yeah. you feel comfortable, you know. You do. So. And it's, it's a good atmosphere, um, St Andrews. Yeah, my family is really proud of me for coming here, yeah. And um, I know that they're really happy with the school as well. It's sort of like my people here. A few of them have gone through living in different homes and other things, but and I found that um, emotional touch or being able to expose their feelings um, sometimes they found quite hard to do and I found that through a lot of their teaching and learning that they've learned how to express themselves so academically they're learning how to read and write but more than that they're actually learning how to express how they feel on the inside which is probably one of the biggest things that's going to help them in their future. <laughs> It's been an amazing journey for us, uh, for me as a mother. Um, we live out in the suburbs, so um, the girls never really liked their local school and being probably the only Aboriginal children at the school at the time, there was never any culture injected, NAIDOC days celebrated or things like that. Yeah, it's just amazing, like, not everyone gets these opportunities and I think that that's do. what St Andrews Cathedral School has being able to give, you know, give us, and it's yeah. amazing. We're grateful. We're very that, grateful. So. The support is so vital, obviously, to keep going. We obviously need funds and money to go for these students, and at the base level, helping our Indigenous children is actually helping our whole country and everything as a nation, and I think I'm a firm believer that for Indigenous kids, they can do anything. Mum had always said education's important, and here I have, um, not last weekend, but another two weekends, I was at universities, open days, and I'm sitting there at a lecture, in a law lecture. One of my girls has got 100% in legal, in both the exam and the, yeah, and you know, the projects, and I thought, oh my God, here I am in the middle between my little girls then, 17 this year, and we're at a university. They're gonna do it. 
One, two, three. Yeah.